Why are the teachers talking about inductive reactants? It's the secret source behind so much tech we use. So, what's inductive reactants? Picture this. When an electric current flows through a coil of wire, it creates a magnetic field. This magnetic field then opposes the change in current. Think of it like trying to run through water. The water resists your movement, right? Similarly, inductive reactants resist changes in electric current. The more coils or the higher the frequency of the current, the greater the reactants. It's like adding more water to your running path, makes it harder to move. Inductive reactance is measured in ohms, just like resistant. But remember, it only applies to AC alternating current, not DC direct current. The formula for inductive reactance is XL equals 2 pi by F by L, where F is the frequency and L is the inductance. L is measured in Henry's and X stands for reactants. Therefore, XL stands for inductive reactance. Knowing this helps us design circuits that can handle the right amount of current without overheating. So next time your charger heats up, you'll know it's not just working hard, it's dealing with inductive reactants. There is a long form video of example questions you will deal with in your exams and explanations of how to reach an answer on the main channel. Sound? Sound. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of electricity.